Hello. Today, February 21st, is our first Sunday in Lent. As you can see from our calendar, Lent is here, and this is the color for Lent. Lent begins with Ash Wednesday and will end with Easter. And Pastor usually um, presents ashes and ashes mark, and he marks the foreheads with the remains of the palms from Palm Sunday. So when people give something to grow closer to God, it's also a time to pre prepare for Advent. So today, today's lesson is about Noah and it is in Genesis. Genesis is the first book in the Bible. Genesis 9 verses 8 through 17. And if you can read that, and I will just um, kind of summarize it for you. So for 40 days and nights, Noah and his family shared close quarters with animals. This is when the time of the flood, when they all went onto the ark. So they, would, they were unsure if they would see creation restored. But then creation began and the waters separated from the earth. Animals brought forth, humans received a blessing, and they were told to be fruitful and multiply. Noah went through the creation story all over again. In this passage, we get the finalized Noahic blessing, a covenant, a covenant between God and not only humans, but every living creature. In this covenant, God promises this is a great word, promise. Promises to never again send a flood to destroy the earth. So the word promise, on, the, on your um, insert here, there is the word promise. And if you can write a definition of the word promise, okay? Uh, my definition I will read, it's a declaration that something will or will not be done. So, after the flood, God had a rainbow. A rainbow signifies a promise, and it's a promise that God would never, ever have a flood again. So in your leaflet, we have, um, we also have, if you open it up, we have a tree here. And if you could, you could make yourself a caterpillar, a di all different colors, like a rainbow caterpillar. And then it shows the cycle of life from a caterpillar. So a caterpillar goes into a cocoon and then develops into a butterfly. So down here, you can write in anything you might, might know about um, caterpillars, about their life cycle, or, or anything. You can research caterpillars. Um, I also put a rainbow in here, so it's a significant purpose for this lesson. Um, also, we can, uh, we can look at this... Um, other page about promises and if you know much about promises you like to promise things and this would be a promise that you would have so in these different squares um make promises make promises to you think of what you could promise to people you could promise to listen more closely you could promise to be kind you could promise to be helpful these are all wonderful things that you can do. And it's it's also a nice thing to do for Lent to, to make you remember that this is a time of repentance and, and to keep your promises and ask for forgiveness for the things that you haven't have done. Let us end with a prayer. 
Dear God, thank you for helping us understand that you always keep your promises. Because of your promise to Noah, we know that you will keep your promise to us. Amen. And have a wonderful week.